In 2021, Georgia had one of the highest number of cases per capita that were reported through trafficking hotlines. Uh, the northern area of Atlanta is, is well known. It's one of the highest places of, of human trafficking, human sex trafficking of women and children. Women and girls represent approximately 71% of all trafficking victims globally. More than 90% of detected female victims are trafficked for the purpose of sexual exploitation. Approximately one third of all human trafficking victims are children. This sentence, this next sentence uh, is, is hard to even read because it, it's our country. The United States is one of the top destinations for human trafficking and is among the largest consumers of child sex. The average age of entry into the commercial sex market is 12 years old. In the past few weeks, there has been a lot of controversy of, about a movie called Sound of Freedom. And um, I, I can't understand why anyone would say anything negative about a movie that's trying to expose uh, child sex trafficking, especially when it involves our United States border. Um, uh, Ms. Vaughn, can you tell me, is it a conspiracy theory? Is child sex trafficking a conspiracy theory? It is most certainly not a conspiracy theory. Um, it, it occurs far too much. I have um, met with and hugged survivors and heard what they have gone through. And to refer to it as a conspiracy is an insult to what they have endured. Is our border a serious issue? The, the fact that our border is open and the amount of people coming across our border, is that contributing to child sex trafficking? It is most definitely contributing to the problem of not only child sex trafficking, but um, forced labor and domestic servitude and debt bondage as we've discussed today. Is our uh, current administration's border policies contributing to child sex trafficking? They are certainly facilitating it, yes. So it's happening with more frequency as a result of the loose policies at the border and the lack of enforcement, frankly, in the interior of the country as well that would help rescue some of these survivors and or at least turn them into survivors as opposed to victims. Thank you, Ms. Vaughn.